after all that running around, we end up right back here again. Look at us. We barely escaped this place last time, and now we're strolling right back in. Gee, surely we must be some of the bravest adventurers in all of Tavat. That are the stupidest. To get to that creepy statue... We just need to follow the path we used to escape last time. That should take us right to it. Yep, that'll work. Let's go! Looks like we're here. An eerie, lifeless, dark chamber. I understand the evil aura you were describing earlier. Oh, such a scary place. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald. It's here. <laughs> you sense correctly. You are just as vexatious as ever, Dainsmith, enemy of the Abyss. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed. Perhaps from your darkest nightmares. Unless... <laughs> oh, and something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you! Retro- 
confusion! You can't run! It's a punishment! Dane! But it must be said. Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the Abyss. That man Dainsliff was the Twilight Sword, one of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. Five hundred years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. A curse of immortality was laid upon him, to forever wander the wilderness, while he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into the monsters of the Abyss. You're saying Dane is from Conria? The same Conria that was destroyed 500 years ago? And you said the people turned into monsters? 
You're trying to tell Paimon that the Abyss Order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? Uh, and the whole thing about Dan being your enemy... Oh, uh, Paimon's so confused. Home. Yes, of course. Home is wherever we are together. But I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home. At least, not yet. Until the Abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Listen to me, Lumine. I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. So we'll meet again. Though we need not rush, sister. I have more than enough time to wait for you. We have always had enough time. to him. Still, we don't know for sure if he's the highest ranking leader in the organization. Also, your brother said that he wants to engulf the thrones and go to war with destiny. What the heck does that mean? Could it be he wants to destroy the Seven and the Seven Nations? Next thing, turns out the Abyss Order monsters are really what the people of Conria turned into after their nation was destroyed. This story is just plain terrifying! And Dane is from Conria too! He witnessed its destruction 500 years ago! But he didn't turn into a monster. And now he's fighting the Abyss Order. So that's why your brother said that Dane is his enemy, right? But if the monsters of the Abyss are the same people that Dane protected all those years ago, then why is he enemies with the Abyss Order now? Also, how come after all this time we've spent searching for your brother, it turns out he's on the side of the Abyss? What's up with that? Yeah, you're right. Then we can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's get a move on. Time to leave this terrible dark place and get back to the surface where the sun shines bright. If your brother wants you to reach the end of your journey, show him what you're made of! Come on, Traveler! Let's go! <laughs> 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 